Max Banks, a medication not approved by the FDA to treat COVID-19 was given to inmates at the Washington County Jail. The medication is called ivermectin. It's something the sheriff says he just learned about yesterday. Five News reporter Katherine Gilker spoke to the jail's doctor about that decision. Uh, it's just it's just really appalling. Washington County Justice of the Peace Eva Madison asked Sheriff Tim Helder if the medication was being prescribed after a county employee told her he was prescribed it by the jail health contractor Karis Correctional Health. Most of those people that are down there are pre-trial, innocent until proven guilty, and their only option for COVID treatment is to go to this doctor who's going to give them medication that the FDA says not to give them. They don't have the luxury of getting a second opinion. Uh, and then Washington County's tax dollars are being used to pay for this. Dr. Rob Karras says Karras Correctional Health has been treating inmates at the jail for six years. He says 531 inmates at the jail have tested positive for the virus since the beginning of the pandemic. Since the end of June, they've had 166 cases of suspected Delta variant. He has had COVID himself twice and taken ivermectin. I've given it to my mom before she got vaccinated. She was on it preventatively. My stepmom, my in-laws, my sister, my sister's kids, thousands of patients we've, we've treated with it. We have not experienced any, we have not seen any bad side effects from it. He understands ivermectin is not FDA approved to treat COVID and says nothing is FDA approved for treatment of COVID. He says early outpatient treatment for COVID is important. My thoughts are, do you want us to try and fight like we're at the beaches in Normandy, or do you want me to tell what a lot of people do and say, oh, go home and ride it out and go to the ER when your lips turn blue? I mean, that. so we've fought hard for our patients. Dr. Jennifer Dillahay with the Arkansas Department of Health says ivermectin is typically prescribed to treat parasites in humans, but ultimately it can be prescribed for off-label use. Risks and the benefits should be discussed with the doctor who prescribes them. So it's found to be a safe medicine if prescribed properly in the right doses. So those are the issues. Dr. Kara says of those more than 500 cases of COVID-19 here at the Washington County Jail, there have been no deaths and one hospitalization. He says the inmate who was hospitalized did not take his medication. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. All right, Katherine, thanks. If you'd like to learn more about ivermectin and the FDA stance on it, you can go to our website at 5newsonline.com.